once the stream order output is um, available, you will see these color-coded streams now up here. If you zoom uh, to layer, um, then you can see that they have basically replaced the the matrix that came out from the thresholding. And now you can also start to see that there is a stream network for our watershed of interest and then there are other streams as well. They're part of the other watershed. It's still a, mit, uh, a raster format and it's time to convert this into vector file. And for that, there is a tool available stream to feature in the hydrology toolbox. So just go there, click the stream to feature toolbox, start that. Give, its input will be the stream order 10%. And you still need to give it the flow direction. And let's call the output as my computer is a little slow but hopefully it will appear. So stream net 10 and it, as you can see I'm keeping the 10 number there because the whole process is based upon 10 percent value and you can try after this lab is completed you can try 5 percent as well and we'll keep to the simplified polylines um, which is the um, default value. Now, it may take a while for it to appear so in the next video I'll show you the output.